Okay, so I've been teaching people for years that dancing is not something that you need to remember things. You don't need to remember routines. That's only for competition. That's only for like exhibitions and showcases. That's when you actually have to think about and remember the routines. But dancing in itself is simply a physical movement from an emotional manifestation. What that basically means is you are not trying to remember things. What you're trying to do is listen to what's going on. You're trying to listen to the music. You're trying to listen to the person in front of you. Where are they? What are they feeling? How are they thinking? What is the music telling you to do? Sure, there are steps. There's certain step patterns in dancing which are like words in any language which describe um, your sentence. You want to say something. You want to... Um, you want to feel a certain way, you want to express that, you want to communicate that, that's basically what it is. But you don't have to remember things, you don't have to go out and dance socially with someone and try to remember a whole bunch of routines because that's not you, that's actually lying. So here's the thing, when you're remembering something, you're actually lying. If you listen to the music and what you're trying to do, they don't match. If you're remembering a routine, they're not going to match. Every piece of music is different. Every time you go out social dancing, every time you get on the floor, the music will be different. You've got to create yourself and the partnership and the dance in a completely different way. Otherwise, what are you doing? You're just lying. All you're doing is you're saying the same thing in the physical way that you thought about, you know, five, six, seven weeks ago, and you're lying. And you just bring the same stuff again and again and again. When the music plays, it is actually telling you what to do. It's actually telling you the steps. It's giving you the steps. It's telling you this is what we want you to feel, to show, to to generate in your partnership. You're like a conduit. You're like um, this thing. You're like a, a bridge between the two worlds. You are literally taking music into your brain, into your heart, into your feelings, thoughts, emotions, values, beliefs, all that sort of stuff that you've gone through your whole life and you are giving it to your partner. So here's the deal. You walk onto the floor, you know a couple of step patterns, but not necessarily in a certain order. You listen to the music, the music tells you or, or gives you a feeling of softness. So you do a soft step pattern. The music explodes and gives you something really hard. So you do a hard step pattern, but you don't put those step patterns in an order and just put them whenever you feel like it, even though the music is saying something completely different. Listen to the music, really listen to the music. If you really wanna be an honest dancer, really listen to the music, listen to your partner, feel what your partner is going through, through your hands, through your body. Don't just try to impress them with all these beautiful routines you've got. Actually physically be involved in the process of communication. That's why girls love guys who can dance, because the body never lies, yeah? A guy who can dance is actually telling the truth. That's basically why they like it. Speaking of somebody who likes a guy who's telling the truth, hi Anna. Um, hi. Isn't that true? What? Girls love, why, why do you think girls love a guy who can dance? Um. Go on, she just, she just came in from getting something. Doesn't matter oh, what the hell's going on, she's got no makeup on. So why do you think guys, girls love a guy who can dance? Because it's fun? It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> Why else? Because I've been just been saying something to these guys about honesty. Yeah, so I think girls love a guy who can dance because the body never lies. And when a guy actually dances, he shows exactly who he is and how he is and, and how he's going to be, how he's going to treat you. Yeah. Um, is that sort of like what you think about or not? Yeah, well, you feel awkward when you dance with someone who's not confident. You, you don't want to be on camera, do you? No, I've got to make it. <laughs> You're going to make it. So girls don't want to be awkward with a guy who can't dance? Yeah. Well, basically, it's not really he can't dance. It's just that he's not courageous enough or, or um, strong enough to show what he's really feeling inside. Would that be correct in saying? Yeah, you can dance with someone who still doesn't know how to dance but has confidence. Has confidence and is, is honest about what they're doing. Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. Draw your own conclusions. But this is, my intention for this video is so that people actually spread it and show people who actually want to dance, but are scared of trying to remember routines or have two left feet or no rhythm. It's all crap. It's all bullshit. You have rhythm. You've got a heartbeat. You've got rhythm. You've got two left feet. Great. The ballroom world goes around anti-clockwise anyway. <laughs> You'll be going there left anyway. 
So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. Um, thank you for going right on to the end. And um, next time we see Anna, she'll have full makeup. <laughs> I think you look pretty without makeup. I don't I don't think you need makeup. Mm -hmm. Anyway, have a great day everyone. Take care. Bye-bye for now.